Let me tell you something, bitch. Just because he got a big dick, don't make him a grown man with your pedophile ass. You your girl Vanessa Lorraine obviously back with another video today honey so today we're gonna talk about this whole August I was seeing a Jada Pickett Smith Will Smith situation and yeah we just about to get into it also about to do my hair just get into it so first thing is first um what happened we saw that August, I don't know about y'all, but I saw that August Alcina was dropping something, a project or whatever, two weeks ago or so, something like that, two weeks ago. So he was dropping a project. Everybody was like, okay, you know, whatever, whoop the whoop the bang. Then from there, we got the documentary and everything. And then in the documentary, he didn't talk about um, Jada Smith or anything or the Smiths. And it's, you know, everybody's going to talk about the Jaden, um, Jaden, Jesus, Jada Smith. In Will Smith's situation, which is like it's normal. However, I just want people to realize that he talked more, more stuff than the whole relationship. So first off, say thank you to August Alcina for letting us see you like that and being vulnerable, open, transparent, honest, and real. Because that's exactly what that interview was. That's exactly what that um documentary was um his music the album was everything was very open honest real transparent and it's so like amazing to see and also you get to see his growth and like how his mindset has changed from a boy to like now a man like and he was like it's gonna be long blah blah blah, blah. i'm like okay cool we about to talk about some real shit i just didn't think it was gonna be that real honey i just didn't think it was gonna be that like it was gonna be like that like damn and on twitter you already know follow me on twitter if you don't already i stay on twitter that's just what i do i get on twitter everybody's like just talking about the whole Jada. Jaden, um, Jaden, Jesus, Jada Smith situation, and I'm like, okay, and they're making fun of it, like, oh, Will Smith, y'all know how we do, but the jokes aren't funny, because they definitely are, however, I was just like, okay, let me look at the, doc the documentary, let me look at the interview, and see you make opinions for myself, the OGs of August already knew that him and Jada had something going on. Let's just be very clear on that. First of all, we saw them pictures. Mind y'all, this was like, I think, 20, 18, like 2016 maybe? 2017 during that time? I was, they took hella pictures, okay? <laughs> they took hella pictures together. And when at first it was like family pictures of all of them together. And you know, Jaden being there, whatever. Cause um, if I'm not mistaken, that they were friends and that's how he got introduced um to the family or they were cool or whatever and that's how he got introduced to the family and then at that point that's when people started making jokes or whatever and then it was a picture of them at the bet wars whatever year that was i don't know so and another thing with it is it's been speculations for one the smiths for them to be in an open relationship like that's been a thing since <sighs> The beginning, I don't want to say the beginning of the time, but the beginning of the time, people had speculations of them being in an open relationship. And baby, if you really look at their relationship, you can tell. I will don't give a hot damn. If I'm being honest, I feel like the only reason that he really cares is because they try to keep this open relationship, you know, kind of on the DL. And now people know you know what i'm saying i feel like that's the only thing that he'll be upset about but as far as like her having her relationships and him having his relationships i don't think they're mad because he agreed to having an open relationship and i'm pretty fucking sure that will smith has multiple women all up through that motherfuckers and i do want to talk about open relationships too real quick if it works for them it works for them i don't mind the open relationship thing because that's not my relationship that's their relationship okay 
that's how they want to, you know, that's how they, how they been been doing it. Y'all think this, I truly do not believe this whole open relationship just started. Like, no, this probably, they've been doing this type of stuff probably since they've been together, which has been the 90s, you guys. So, they're not upset. I don't think he's upset. I don't, like, I don't think he feels no type of way. They've been doing this for a long time. So, like, and they had, they both had, you know, to agree to this. The thing with it is like this, y'all, they got money period big money and then the smiths ain't got no little money they got big money so with that being said like they can do whatever the hell they want to do and then i think the people that are really upset are the people who looked up to them that's why i don't look up to no relationship you may look at a relationship like they have good communication or they're good at this and they're good at that. And I want my relationship to possess, you know, this thing. But as far as relationship goals, like, no, because you don't know what the hell is going on between closed doors. You feel me? From the outside looking in, it may look one way, but in reality, it's completely different. So that's the whole relationship goal stuff y'all need to kind of cut out. Everybody want to be relationship goals, but little do you know, open relationships, people getting cheated on, people having babies outside of the marriage or relationship, this is going on, that is going on, and you wondering why that's happening in your relationship. You up here praying to God and stuff, talking about you want this type of relationship, and he giving it to you. Y'all got to realize, these celebrities can do whatever the hell they want to do, okay? They got money, like, it's... You know, having an open relationship, being swingers, whatever, it's nothing new. Like, I don't get why I feel like it's nothing new. And just because they black don't mean nothing either. Like, hello? How people were so confused and so upset about it. I don't get it. You can do whatever you want to do with your vagina and your, your, your penis, honey. The thing that I'm upset with, with this whole situation... Is for one, if I am not mistaken, could be mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, August was Jada's, Jaden's friend, so Jaden, they're um, the boy. As a mother, I feel like that is first. I don't give a hot damn how fine August Alcina is. That's your child. Just skip, like, we're not even talking about the age difference right now. We're talking about just simply that is your child's friend. Your child introduced that as, you know, introduced him to y'all as his friend how effed up is that i'm gonna find out that your parents or your mama or your daddy is they fucking how would you feel about that how would you feel i would feel like it i would be so upset with my parents or my parent imagine how Jaden Jaden feels right now just imagine or at the time but you know right now the big fat ass no no even if august alcina was flirting with her that is a big no no you don't do that we're in the lifetime type of porn up porn hub f fucking my best friend's mom type of bullshit is that at your big age jada at your big age doing shit like that and that th again it ain't like this lady broke it ain't like jada ugly she could get a younger man if she wanted one like nobody's out here disputing that that she can't get a younger man or she can't fuck a younger man because she definitely can't but we're gonna go to the next point jada jada smith is 47 right now if i'm not mistaken and um august alcina is 27 right now i'm currently 20 about to be 21 in a couple of months that's like me like when i get obviously when i get older but that's literally as a 21 year old, the person I'm going to be with or having sex with will be born next year. And I'm 21. Like, that's the age gap. You understand what I'm saying? That's the age difference. Hell, can you even, I'm not saying you can't have a conversation with older people and stuff like that. Duh, obviously. But I'm just saying, as a relationship, how does that even work? See, you as an adult you know as a big adult at your big age should know that that's not right and you shouldn't do stuff like that what the hell do i got going on that actually looks a little bit better i'm a fashionista truly confusion like what the hell was she thinking and i want to go to go into another point really quickly that you know when males or men or whatever tell us that you know we're going through shit too or we tell them hey it's okay to open up about sexual assault rape 
you know, just stuff like that. And they tell us, no, it's not okay. Because, you know, society doesn't treat us the same when it comes to this type of stuff. They tell us all the time that they feel like they can't say anything or if they do say something, it won't be taken seriously. And this is this is just proves their point that it's when it when it happens to a male, like they don't get the same thing that females get or women get. Because I, y'all, I guarantee on my on my name, bitch. Show is my name is Vanessa Lorraine, girl. If, for instance, let's take Jordan Woods. We know they're, um, she's a long-term friend. She wasn't a long-term friend. She was just Willow's friend. Whatever. Everything was the same. You know, it just was a female. Y'all would be upset. Yes, it would be jokes as well. Don't get me wrong about that. However, I feel like there would be more people saying, you know, Will Smith is wrong for doing this. He manipulated her. He's too young for her. This is not right. Da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. I, but it's mostly jokes like nobody's really taking it seriously how i feel like they should i don't give a f if she's a woman or not wrong is wrong and right is right period and that's my thing with it like if you believe in this type of stuff and you know wrong is wrong and right is right then you need to call a spade a spade what she did was completely wrong and it was gross Again, if I'm not mistaken, the reason why I'm saying if I'm not mistaken, because y'all know stuff come out later, like, oh, actually, it was this, it wasn't that. So, if I'm not mistaken, Jada tried to make it seem, and I do believe Will, if I'm not mistaken, tried to make it seem like it was a parental type of thing. Like, I'll say, after watching the documentary and the interviews and, like, knowing his story, if you will, um, he doesn't have, like I said, a good relationship with his mom, and he has mommy issues, Period. Same thing with his dad. His dad wasn't present. Um, we, it's safe to say that he has daddy issues. You know what I'm saying? And they try to make it seem like it was, oh, this is my, oh, shit. Whoops. This is my um child's friend. You know, we're just out here trying to give him advice. And da -da -da. you know how that go. Probably nine times out of ten, he was seeking that. He was very young at that age. And no matter how y'all want to look at it, when you have daddy mommy issues, you go out in the world trying to seek mommy and daddy. You feel me? And they really do give us that energy. You feel what I'm saying? Especially Jada. She gives you that mama bear type of spiritual type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all knew that this boy had issues. You knew that this boy had some triggers and some trauma. You especially dealing with his parents. I feel as though as Jada and August had a relationship. Like, he opened up to her, and they had that type of relationship. And my thing with it is, is I don't feel like anybody in their sane mind is going to have a relationship with someone's mother at this point and, you know, just one day out of the blue ask Will, hey, can I sleep with your wife? You feel me? I just feel like Jada gave off the vibes of, hey, I want to fuck type shit, and then from there, August was like, okay, yeah, me too. Now, I could be wrong on that. And if even if I am wrong... Jada should have stepped in being the adult, the big adult, big age, you know what I'm saying? The grown person in this um situation. I know people are like, okay, well, he was 20. At the time, he was probably like 23. You're not really grown, baby. At 23, you're not grown, grown. Let's just, especially versus his age versus her age, she's 43 at this point you're grown grown so with that being said even if jada didn't give off those vibes of hey i want to fuck and da -da 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 -da, you as a big grown person that you are should have been like no this is not what this is i'm sorry that you got confused i don't know if i gave off any vibes to you but this is not what this is i'm just you know trying to help you out as you know as a young man as a young adult this is not what this is period if that's how it went down, that's how I feel like it went down. Could be wrong, but that's how I feel like it went down. And that's just, that's very weird. Knowing that he has mommy and daddy issues, why would you at this point continue to pursue him? You know what I'm saying? And that, and that type of idea. And the thing about it is we don't know if she looked at him and was like, yeah, he gonna be my next boyfriend, period. Or it was a situation where she really did look at him at kind of as a son and it just morphed and it turned into that we, we don't know so that's the information i need really i would like to know and basically jada is denying um the allegations now girl, 
denying why are you denying for what for why we already know the truth bitch we knew the truth back then I do that. There is way t like, and there's way too much evidence of like y'all being together. Like, there is a photo of them in some hotel room. I mean, come on. The other picture with um, Queen Latifah in the background looking like, mm hmm. <sighs> Just own up to your shit and be like, yeah, I did. Have a red table talk with yourself. And let's keep it pushing. Now, I would be completely fine with the situation. I would kiki and leave it alone um, and laugh about it. And that's it. If the younger man that she was messing with was like 31, 35, something like that. So, yeah, but moving on from that, because I don't want to only talk about that. You know, he's talked about what else? he talked about a lot of shit, y'all, you know, in the interviews and in documentary. <laughs> I want to talk to you.